In part one, we got ourselves to the red zone. Now it's time to punch it in. We've built all of our pieces to house our draft board. Now we just need to assemble them together. But before we do that, we want to cover the exposed edges in solid oak. Why oak? Because we're dudes. Now ordinarily I save that step for last, but taking advantage of the fact that they're still freestanding will make life much easier in the long run. Measure and rip strips to size. And then secure with glue and nails. We are looking damn fine. But now it's time to really bring this project to life. It's assembly time. So let's start by attaching the podium to the stage using a couple of strap hitches. Before you move the podium into place, drop a couple of spacers in front of the stage to lift it off the ground. It won't fold up properly if it's catching the floor. Set the podium in the notch of the stage. Mark your screw holes and pre-drill on the top of the stage and back of the podium. Lay down a dot of construction adhesive for each hinge and attach. Check this out. Now let's work on shelving for our cabinets, and it's a pretty simple process. Measure and cut ply to the width of your cabinet, but the depth, that should be about three quarters of an inch less to account for edge dressing. And for dressing, we're gonna use solid strips of oak. Remember the holes we drilled in the outer cabinets earlier on? Well, this is where they pay off. Add paste to those holes and then add your shelves to your liking. The shelving on the reverse side of the inner cabinets is a little different. The depth of these shelves will extend past the cabinets and have a taller edge dressing to keep our draft day booze in place. Attach with screws. Now for me, there's nothing better than chewing on a stogie during the draft. And I see we've got some real estate down here. So we make ourselves some doors and add a battery powered humidifier and we've got ourselves a humidor. I just earned myself a second man car. With all four cabinets and our stage and podium complete, we now have to build a compartment with Murphy Bed Mechanics to house the stage and podium. This compartment will connect all of our cabinets as one piece. Start with rips of oak that'll act as front pieces to the compartment. Add a two by four to the back outer edge of the front pieces. These will be used for support and to attach the sides of the compartment and attach a solid piece of oak reinforced by a two by two. Cut full sheet supply deep enough to house the stage and the podium and attach to the two by four. Place on either side of the stage. Screw the outer cabinets to these sides. Place the hinges and pre-drill holes on the inner cabinets and solid piece of oak. Attach with screws. Use three inch oak crown molding to trim the top of your outer cabinets. It's one of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to give your project a polished look. We've got to install some piping to create a pivot for the stage to fold up. Start by drilling holes in the sides of the compartment with a hole saw. Add flanges that will hold the pipe in place. Drill the same size holes into the back of the stage and add flanges. Add pipe and you've got a pivot. Now in order for our stage to fold up like a Murphy bed, I've got to add some lateral supports to our pivots. To do that, I'm going to use a bunch of two inch pipe and some fittings. Finally, add a couple of casters to the back of the stage to allow for a smooth pivot. Cut out a notch on the stage and attach with screws. The last step to completing this compartment is to attach the back. Cut two pieces of three quarter inch ply to fit the width of the back and attach to the sides. Normally, I've just finished this thing with a couple of coats of polyurethane. But because we want an extra classy look, we'll add a dark stain. Make sure you give everything a good sanding before applying. Sorry to interrupt, fellas but I can't watch this lameness go down any longer. I've got a little something that's gonna pull your draft out of the dumps. 
A bookshelf? With the first pick in the Craftsman Made to Make Fantasy Football Draft, I select, I'm Rob Norton, and that's how you get it done. Me, I'm the best one here.